welcome back to the videos. Welcome to another beautiful morning in the northeast. Today, I've had a stupid idea. Toasty, well overdressed. Now, I used to race and train with a guy called Tim Granshaw. Tim used to race for the US national team. So he knows this shit. And every winter, he'd ride his bike with a tire inside his tire, and he would never get any punches. So I thought I would test this method out today. I've got a tire and another tire, and we're gonna put them inside each other and see if it works. Well, I know it works, because I've seen it, but how easy is it to do? And what will it feel like to ride? Is this a stupid idea? I messaged him just to make sure I got the details right, and he said, I did use 21 millimeter tubulars stuffed inside 30 mil road clinches. It was a huge pain and they were as slow as molasses. I think that's American for treacle. So this is gonna be either a great win or a complete failure. I have a 30 mil Hutchinson Fusion clincher here and a 21 millimeter tubular, which is the smallest tub I could find. The idea is that this acts as the inner tube and this is just like a normal clincher on the outside. And then you will never ever get punches. Now, usually, Hutchins and Fusion fit these parkour wheels really well. It's a good, it's a good combination and a tire you can get on and off without tire levers, which is promising, uh, but usually you put a normal inner tube in or nothing uh, instead of the tub. So that's half on. Look how loose that feels. There should be space for the tub. Oh no, is this gonna work? The tub does feel small, like inner tube size. Helps that these are really wide rims as well. Make sure it doesn't like spin around or anything. Because I think it needs to be fitted basically perfectly. Ah, oh, the valves come out. Need a valve extender. If it's harder than a bike ride. Oh, see, unlike an inner tube, you've got to like stretch a tub onto a wheel. So we're kind of working against that. And then another bit comes off on the other side when you don't want it to. So close to working. The tub is now fully on the rim. Now I just need the clincher to get, you know, over the, the rim. This is so fun. This is such a good idea. Many hours later. Success! I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Ooh. You wouldn't want to be doing that by the side of the road. Definitely not. But. All being well, this should mean no punches. All being well. The main issue that I see is that this is a tubeless ready wheel set. So the tire kind of has to seat and the tubular tire kind of has a limit to how much it expands when you pump it up. So I can put 140 PSI in there and it's not gonna get that much bigger. So it's not gonna make the tire seat. It's kind of hard to show on film, but it is solid. It's filled the tire enough to ride, definitely. And I can't imagine it's gonna come off or anything because it was so hard to get on. I guess we should test it outside. Stupid idea. So I've made it about 1K and haven't fallen off yet. So I don't really know what to think of this. Does it work? Yes. Does it feel good? No. Yeah, definitely like molasses, whatever that is. Should we see if it gets the bike shop seal of approval? What, what are you doing? Well, I burned my hand under the hot water and the kettle thing in there, trying to reset my Ooh. mask mount. And that's the coldest thing I've got in the shop. Oh. I could probably get some ice from the cafe, but it's that, too in, far. that involved walking all the way there. <laughs> Actually, hold on, I've got a better idea. Yeah. No health and safety in here. I have done something terrible and fantastic. Do you want to see? I'm nervous. Yeah, show me. You're nervous? Your latest bit of like eBay online late night shopping. No, 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 no. This is legit parts. A new bike? Oh. It's not a new bike for you. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. Yeah. I've ridden it and I didn't fall off. So I think it's safe. But I imagine if you ride it really hard around a corner, the tire might come off. There's something in there. Is that a solid? No. 
<laughs> I've never seen you so confused. This oh, is great. Just on road bikes, you mean? My... So is that? Oh, hold on. Is that like one of those swab things where you like? Nope. That is a tub inside a clincher. I actually got two tires. <laughs> I'm hoping you didn't glue it on. This is not mounted on. I can feel it moving on top. No, of it's the barely moving. It barely moves at all. Give it away. Okay, the tire sizes could be refined more, but it it works. It doesn't really. It does. Because, no, because you got bigger tire to be more comfortable. Now you put a tub in, which is smaller, so that external tire, like obviously your air volume is still the same. But whatever size tub you've got in there is effectively the tire size that you've got. Yeah, but it doesn't need to ride nice. It just needs to be no punctures ever. Well, it's not going to not puncture because it's just essentially something can still go through both tires. Yeah, but it has Less to. Likely. Yeah, but yeah. really not likely. Is Depends it? on which tubs you put in. If it's like a TT tub, you're still going to be fucked. It's basically an inner tube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly phoned you to help me get it on. No. But I persevered, and now my hands are very sore. Oh, okay. It feels weird. When that external tyre moves over the internal tyre... <laughs> what the hell's happening there? If this wasn't a tubeless ready clincher, yeah. it would sit way more flush and be totally yeah, more be rideable. Easier. Yeah, Probably easier to get on as well because the bead will be thinner. Exactly. How ridiculous is that? So, for all the viewers out there, this is the best way to make your bike puncture proof. Stick an 80 quid tub instead of your normal 8 pound inner tube. No, 18 pounds. Cheaper than a tube oh, oh. Where did you get something for 18 quid? The internet. He wants to hate it, but secretly he loves it. No, don't, well, what do you do if it's you get ingenious. a puncture? It's ingenious. What do you do if you get a puncture? You don't get a puncture, ever. You can't. I'm going to get something Your phone neutral service. How confident are you that this is oh, not going to no. no, 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 no. What a beautiful day for a bike ride. I'm so glad I spent it indoors wrestling with tires all day. What was the conclusion there on the tub inside a clincher? Well, I've switched back straight away because it was really, really rubbish to ride. Maybe if you were intent on getting some winter miles in with almost zero risk of puncturing, well, something would have to penetrate both the tire on the outside and the inner tube tire on the inside. And uh, that's fairly unlikely to happen. So I guess if you were really serious about your winter miles, definitely didn't want any punctures and didn't mind riding really slowly, it would be a slog, but it's definitely doable and it definitely works. I knew it would, I trust him. But yeah, if you like how your bike rides and you're riding just for fun, this probably isn't for you. I'll do the stupid things on this YouTube channel so you don't have to. Next up, we better get some solid tires and see what they're like.